before we continue um, regarding United actually playing West Ham. So as most of you guys know, um, United played Wolves um, a few days ago away from home. An absolutely difficult place to go to, but we ended up winning 4-3 away from home. Really, really impressive result, I have to be honest. All things considered a really, really impressive result, especially considering that we were pinned back so late on in that match um, with a very decent Pedro Neto goal. And then we end up winning right at the end via an incredible, incredible Kobe Mayno finish. If you haven't seen Kobe Mayno's winning goal for United against Wolves to make it 4-3, I implore you to go and check it out. Maybe one of the best goals of the season to see him pick up the ball where he picked up the ball, not make his defender, carry the ball into the box and then bend it. Side foot finish into the bottom corner away from the keeper's grass fucking perfection right absolutely beautiful to watch but we didn't play great um we gave what well, wolves loads of chances to come back into the game we didn't kill them off and but then uh, still three points on the board away from home great result this time around against west ham i think more of the same today's performance against west ham more of the same i'm not gonna lie um i think the best thing to come out of this game was definitely our defensive performance i think defensively we're incredibly solid ever since Alessandro martinez has come back even though he's injured now i'll speak about that more in a bit but i feel like defensively we looked way more secure even with onana coming back onana has been really up and down this season he didn't have a really good afcon he come right back into the team after bayenda played one game but so far has been okay it's not been that bad i'm not gonna lie and i think a lot of it has to do with Alessandro Martinez's um, reintroduction has a lot to do with Luke Shaw coming back from injury and has a lot to do as well with Casemiro playing in front of that defense I think Casemiro providing that screen providing that solidity providing that experience um, has definitely allowed us to look more defensively solid but attacking wise we're still a bit you know not really there if anything i think the game against wolves was a really good indication of like you know rashford's form i think that was incredible to see i think he carried in he's carried a little bit of that form into the west ham game even though he was a bit quiet i feel like when he did get on the ball he did use it correctly he made the right decision he wasn't running into players and shit that was obviously great to see but in general the most best thing to come out of this was definitely the individual performances from obviously Hoyland and some of the finishes and overall play I think from Garnacho even though he was still disappointing so it's a very strange performance because I feel like this was the perfect time to face West Ham they had Paqueta out for some reason they sold uh, Berami they sold um, what's his name four nows really late in the window uh, Mikel Antonio is out injured so they're not really the most sharp when it comes up to attacking options up front and and with the exception of maybe Bowen, they don't really have much threats up there. So I think it's probably the best option. No, Bowen and Kuda, sorry, obviously, are two of their only outlets. But without Paqueta in midfield creating, um, without Berrama to playing as well, without fucking for now, there's an option of the bench. They don't really have much attacking threats to really kind of trouble us. So when they obviously, you know, when this fixture came around and those two players left and they've obviously got an injury record they got, I was quietly confident that we could do something. But I didn't expect to see a 3-0 win. Um, it's, I def definitely didn't expect to see us clean sheet but i thought we definitely had a firepower to probably um dismantle them um, i think the first goal was brilliant rasmus hoyland incredible i think he's been playing really well despite most of his teammates not passing the ball to him despite us not really playing to his strengths i feel like hoyland has done a really good job to kind of display and to illustrate how good of a striker he is he holds up the ball incredibly well and for somebody incredibly young he does really well in terms of coming short in terms of playing has being the playmaker something to bounce off from and i think his first goal was incredibly well taken he kind of shimmied on the inside faked to shoot with his left foot and then brought on his right foot and buried the ball in the bottom corner really really great finish and overall i think he played really well um Garnacho was a little bit hit and miss i think in the first half but as per usual the reason why he always plays is because he's one of our only constant threats on the wing he's probably been one of the only players in our attacking lineup that's always a threat when he gets the ball even if he faces a defender that puts him in his back pocket he's always a willing runner he's always willing to receive the ball under pressure he's always willing to attack his defender even if he's not going to get past them he's always willing to try to shoot even though he should pass so i think that's one of the reasons why the coach Ericsson Haag finds it hard to drop him or to rotate him because at the moment um anthony's not really pulling up any trees and he's looking like we wasted a bunch of money sancho's out on loan and probably will be end up getting sold marshall's constantly injured and rashford keeps having up and down season so ganache has been the probably the only steady um consistent person in our attacking lineup but the issue is ganache is a young kid he's still only 19 
we shouldn't be relying on him that much but we don't really have any other options that's the only problem that we have especially with Pelestri already out on loan and it looks like um, Eric Ten Hag isn't the biggest fan of Ahmad so that's the only option we have going forward um, but I do like that now that we have the defensive stability and we have midfield stability in some respects, especially with this Casemiro and Kobe Mino midfield, it's allowing Bruno Fernandes to not do defensive work and to be a little bit more further forward. And it's just providing a, a solid base so that even though we're not the most potent or we're not the most lethal up front, because we have a good defensive base, it gives the people up front an option or it gives them the space to kind of, you know, make mistakes. And then if they have a chance to bury them, because they know more than likely we're not going to concede a ton of goals when we're playing, you know, most of the time, Lissandra Martinez and Varane at the back and Dello, who's playing, who's had a really, a really great season. Shaw's come back and they've added some defensive stability. Even I'm not a biggest fan of his. And of course, you've got the screen. The only really negative of this game, I have to say, was the injury of Lissandro Martinez. The injury to Lissandro Martinez is such a big shame because he's been playing so well since he's come back from injury. But it was such a freak accident where he kind of went, I think he went to um, barge Kufau off of the ball as it was kind of getting played out. And Kufau kind of fell on his knee and it kind of bent the wrong way. But he fell really slowly. Like he didn't recognize he was on his knee. And it kind of really kind of pressed on his knee. And it kind of looked like an ACL tear or some, or some I don't know, whatever, whatever, tendon is on the outside of your knees on the on yeah on, on either side it looked like he kind of maybe strained or pulled one of them he tried to play and continue on it didn't work it didn't happen and then of course he had to end up getting fucking subbed off in the game so that's the only real disappointing part of the game that one of our star defenders who's really made a lot of difference who kind of looks commanding at the back who's kind of really back to his best when he was with us um who looks like he's in incredible shape and just looks like he's on top of his game unfortunately is now going to be out for a considerable period of time again you would imagine i'm just hoping maybe it's not going to be that serious maybe they're going to do their uh, you know their tests and stuff and they're going to work out and see that maybe even though it looked really bad it might be something that he could probably recover from with some rehabilitation i really do hope that's the case but it doesn't look good but overall again great three points especially off the back of um you know some big, pretty dicey results beforehand um a great way to kind of um make sure that we're kind of keeping up the momentum of climbing little by little up the league again um, and just basically getting some confidence in these young players and making sure that we're kind of building bit by bit going forward but really decent result can't complain the stats are a bit uh, a bit deceiving we're sound 22 shots us only 12 but we win three <laughs> three nil again stats don't really matter when it comes to that side of things if anything improvement wise we'd like to see maybe a bit more possession of the ball a little bit more care of the ball I think Bruno Fernandes was a bit poor but I think overall a decent result and we'll take that we'll definitely flipping take that all day long